What's up YouTube, Faliti Adebayo from the VFX Dude in Nigeria. Today I'll be showing you how to create the cinematic typewriter typing effects in Adobe After Effects. Let's preview what we're gonna be creating today. You've seen yourself what we're gonna be creating today, so without further ado, let's get right into it after the intro. The typewriter typing effect has been used in different varieties of movies, so this is how to do it yourself. Make a new composition, I'll rename this to typewriter text, like so. Change the solid color to what you feel like. In my own case, I'll use the black solid color. Click on OK. Now let's create a new solid layer as our background. You can do this by right clicking here, going to new and then solid. Or you can just use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus Y. I'll rename this to background like so. Now click on the test tool at the top of the panel here or use the keyboard shortcut. Ctrl plus T. Then type in your text. I will type in something like type writer like that. You want to make sure your text is aligned to the center. Align it from the panel here. And if you can find yours, just click on the windows and then click on align. Now align the text to the center horizontally and vertically. Expand the text layer and you should have animate here at the right side. Click on the little play icon, then select opacity, like so. It gives you this new option here with range selector and opacity. You want to make sure the opacity is turned all the way down to zero, like so. I know you might feel like, oh my god, the text is gone, how are we going to fix that? Well, we're going to fix it in a moment. Now expand the ring selector, you have here start, end and offset. The start is at 0, end is at 100 and offset 2 is at 0. If we turn the start value back on gradually, you can see the text coming back on. But if you play this, it's not activating the typewriter effect. So how are we going to do that? Yes, you guessed right. We are going to animate this. Make sure you are at the first frame of your composition. Activate the stopwatch down here, turn it all the way down to zero like so. Then move forward a little in the composition and then turn it back on to 100. If we play this now, we can see that we have the typewriter animation effect, but we are not yet done. You can adjust the keyframe here to make the animation much faster or slower. Bringing it backward makes it much faster while taking it forward makes the animation slower. Now select both the keyframe, right click and go to keyframe assistance like that easy ease or you can use the keyboard shortcut F9. That makes the animation smooth. Now to make it more smoother, select both keyframes and click on the graph editor right here and then you have this panel. If yours does not look like this, right click and then check edit speed graph. Now adjust it like this. It makes the animation faster at first then slows down towards the ending. Click back on the graph editor and that's pretty it. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get more videos that help your career as a content creator. Click on the notification bell so that you get to see new videos as soon as they are released. And if you think you have a better way of doing this, drop it in the comment section. I'll be happy to learn from you all and as always, remain productive.